people always say whiskey never reacts, you know, he never throws shades at anybody, he never throws anybody under the bus, he's never mm. talking about editing. If I were to accuse him, Baba would just keep quiet. Mm. But Starboy Whiskey has taken to social media to call out UK singer Tiny Timper and the stubborn London founder, Dumi Oberta. And um, he said some unprintable words, you know, calling them the P word, saying that it's going to be uh, on site when he sees them, you know, threat and all of that. So, mm -hmm. I don't know. What do you think about this? I mean, it's clearly a lot of money for, for um, whiskey, whiskey to, to come, to come speak out. About yeah. it. And it's probably business or something. Maybe he's been duped or something. Obviously. He's, yeah. Um, and I'm I'm not gonna say I'm surprised. Tiny Temper was never. I remember when I used to follow him. He used to say some very stupid things on social media. His perception on women. You know my my thing. There's li very little things I can take me off. I only take mm. me off. Take me off a lot. So I remember not being itched right by Tiny, but I didn't think in this regard. And also the accusation mm. of Same. yeah then throwing being homosexual. yeah throwing the homosexual whatever with it. I mean. I don't know whether that's a D, so we should take whiskey seriously. Seriously, yeah, yeah, same. I don't know because I, I, I don't, I wouldn't have described whiskey as somebody who is homophobic, you know. But he threw that jab like it was like because if it's not true, then he's using that as an insult, which would be surprising for me because I didn't really, I wouldn't have thought that he would find mm. this as something that's something you can, so you insult. can insult people with. Yeah, because, so yeah. I'm thinking it's especially legit. where he is living. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, you know, in that atmosphere. So I know that it's legit, and and is the reason why he's making it in a bad light is because they're not obviously out of the closet obviously um we've never heard any of that so maybe they're doing it behind closed doors and in public they're trying to be straight i don't know if you can say niggas on tv anyway <laughs> so you know they're trying to act straight or whatever either ways i want to know the ending of this conversation i'm pretty sure somebody one of them or if not both of them are gonna come out and break the silence and say something. So I think we should follow the story. All right. So um, basically, when I saw the story, I remember when they started this whole conversation of their beef, you know, Whiskey saying that he was going to be leaving the stop in London because um, they're owing him some money. You know, they, they have this artist management company. And when Whiskey now um, newly moved to London, that they were the ones who had his back, you know, with the Mac line. Because I can remember one particular song. When I saw the story, there was only one song that came to my head. Yeah, back to the matter. Open and close. Mm. Touch your toes, mm. baby, oh yeah, you know what to do, girls. <laughs> <laughs> but at the end of the day, right, that was the only song that came to my head because Whiskey had a disturbing London hoodie going on, he had a disturbing London tracksuit going on, you get, so that was like the proper announcement to show us that Whiskey is now endorsed by the stop in London or even a brand ambassador for the stop in London. So that was when we even knew there was a deal between Whiskey, Tiny Temple, mm, you know, they had their mm. annual dinner and Whiskey was there with yeah. all the stop in London crew. So, you know, this is quite disturbing. This is not disturbing London. This is disturbing mm. the world right now because we're wondering what, what went wrong. If mm. it's about money, did you think that a Niger boy is somebody that will come to London and you try to rip off and you not come yeah. for you? Yeah. Like, really? You couldn't have I've tried that with somebody. It's not even that. It's not even nice to do it to somebody else. But not to not talk of a Niger yeah. boy from Oju let back. No, uh -huh. now you shouldn't try that, man. So I just hope they're able to sort out their differences without violence getting involved. Because yeah. all those on site, you know, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. I think it's totally unnecessary because um, I think peace is what should reign and love. Peace and love. Uh -huh.